let us understand what is transaction in total of is important to understand what is transaction in load driver it is very important topic though it is very simple to understand what is transaction in load driver but it is very important topic transaction is the only way to measure so which action is taking how much time so it is the basic thing which is required to be known by testing load testing technique now to make our load runner skip ready for performance testing we need to add transaction between different actions so as to calculate the time taken by transactions each transaction date is attributed suppose i am Doing login and logout scenario. I am logging in, logging in Mercury website and clicking on sign up button. If we need to know how much time it is taking for the user to log in to the application and how much it, it time it is taking to coming to Home page after clicking on sign up button. So for that, to know the time, we have to put the uh, script action within the transaction. Now let us consider a scenario on the Mercury Web Two application where client want login action to be completed in one action, and also if a client It should not take more than one second to load page after clicking on first link of client. Let us see on the Now suppose client want this action login action should not take more than one second. So we have to measure it. Clicking on first like flights should not take more than one second to load the page. Clicking on this should not take more than one second to load. I hope it should not take more than one second to load. Clicking on sign up action should not take more than one second to load. So this is our performance testing requirement by the client. Suppose, let us suppose that this is the requirement for the client. So we need to measure the time. How much time login action takes? So how we will we know how much time login action is taking? For this, we will go to script. Our script. And here you can see login request. So we will put this in. This is home page. So let us see that. Home page login. How much time it is taking for home page to login? To do that, we will put start transaction here. Let us see how to put transaction here. We are going to the toolbox, and here we will write. And this is the function for starting the transaction. I am dragging it there. Transaction name is 
Pompeo. The first thing that happens is our home page loads, then we log in. So this is home page loading action. So if we have to understand how much time it is taking, we will Now we have started the transaction. Now one thing we have to understand that we have to end the transaction as well. So here I am ending the transaction. So home page load this is getting. Now this home page load within this home page load transaction this is script is executed. So after this script is executed then we will be doing performance testing in controller it will tell that this transaction home page load is taking one second two second three second whatever it is it will tell you so for that we have put the script within transaction now this is login action so i am again Entering another transaction. I'm checking it there. So what could be transaction and login? Login action. So I am putting it here. So this login action starts here. And ends here ending here so I will put LR end transition and dragging it here it is automatically closing login transition so this transition so now this is my search flight method this is my this one after I log into the application I click on first button flights so this is flight action click on flight so I am clicking on flight button so I have to start running Click flight link. This is I am clicking and it will tell you how much time it is taking to for the flight action to be completed. I click on flight request has been sent to click on load flight phase and how much time it is taking for flight phase to load. So click flight link, flight link is clicked and the response how much time it takes for the response to come. The request is sent for click flight link request and response comes. So how much time it is taking that is recorded in this transaction. Now this is You can see that. So this is for this link. How much time taking uh, to load this page? So I am putting it in itinerary transaction. So this is including. We have to close the. Transaction, so I am using dragging it here. 
is but we generating the coding syntax of the transaction now this is for home page in the similar way we will be doing this for how much time it takes for home page to load so we will put it under home transaction I am again starting transaction starting it here will tell how much time it, it is taking to for the home page to load I am putting it on the home transaction now I have started transaction so I will be doing it so it will be I am tagging the function there and it will be automatically identifying that this home transaction has started and we are closing it now this is sign up button how much time it takes for sign up action to be completed so again I am doing this I'm putting it here sign up action sign up action how much time it is taking Sign up action to be completed. Since we have started the transaction, we have to do the transaction as well. So I have dragged the function sign up LR as well. You can see this between generation certificate. So now all our actions have been divided in the transaction. Let us replace the script once again. If this script is running correctly, we have set the now this is what we are doing. You can see the script is passed and main we will be running the scenario we will be seeing that when I will be running with the controller it will show me the time you can see I in output transaction home page load started in this way you will be able to see Notified transaction home page load ended with a pass status. You can see the status as well and duration also. How much time it took to complete the transaction? Again, transaction login started. Transaction login ended with a pass status. Duration is this. Again, click right button. Transaction start and transaction ending here with duration. Transaction home and transaction sign off ended with the pass status duration. This is this and time is this. So we can say that whole purpose of transaction is to know how much time each transaction is taking to complete the action. If we will be running the scenario for 100 users, 1000 users, 10,000 users, lakhs of users, millions of users. So we will get to know how much time it is taking for say 10,000 users to complete logged in action. How much time it is taking to complete sign off action for 10,000 users so for getting to know the time which is very important which is the basic backbone of performance testing we use transactions so this is all about transactions thank you